yeah, it's quite a peaceful view of these elephants. Seems like we are surrounded by a small breeding herd. I count in total about five individuals and they're all just having a bit of a of a meal. They're all trying to break some of the branches of the trees like this one has done right now and in typical fashion as we saw this morning just putting everything in the back of it, their mouth and just trying to get all the nutrients from the cambium layer which is the layer of tree underneath the bark which is the living layer of the tree. It's quite a peaceful view of them here and they're actually been very quiet in the way that they've been feeding. You can't really hear them breaking too much. Oh, and I think I recognize this trunk. Uh, this trunk. Well, yes, indeed, this herd. I had a feeling it was them, but now the female to the left, the one that's walking in, that's our good old friend, the half trunk female. There we go, because you can see now that when she moves the trunk that she's missing the tip of her trunk. So it's good to see that she's still around and that she's hanging around this area and that her and her herd are doing still just fine. Now this particular female, as you can see, she's missing the tip of her trunk and although it can be a bit of an inconvenience for elephants, you can see that she's done wonderfully well in not only carrying on and successfully <laughs> carrying on uh, living, but also in breeding because we are in the company of her youngsters. So normally the young elephants will stick around with their mother if they're females pretty much for a lifetime but if they're males until they're about maybe 12 14 years of age and they start becoming independent and doing their own thing and stepping away from or going away from their mothers it's very good to see her as well i agree now he this particular one over here is, yep, there we go. It's demonstrating how elephants often manage to break some of the trees that, or the branches of the trees in the ground. And normally that'll be by twisting their trunk around it and then pulling and creating that tension and then using their very powerful fit, feet sorry, to kick and then just um, be able to break it loose either from the ground or break it entirely from the branch. Now, <laughs> What are you doing? You seem like you were going to go there to cause a bit of nonsense. <gasps> There's some brotherly or some sibling <laughs> fighting going on there. I think maybe this young boy has been... <gasps> Look at you. So big and scary. That's typical elephant behavior when they raise their heads and move their ears like that to flap and just to show their discontent with something. <laughs> so I think this one was just showing <laughs> its older sibling that he will not be bullied away. Although the reaction of the other one is probably that he has been bullied the whole day and he's been a bit of a troublemaker. So maybe that's why. Here comes the half-drunk female. Hmm, why are you guys having a bit of an attitude today? Is the wind making you a little bit upset? There we go. So breaking the wrapping of the trunk and then the breaking of the tree. <coughs> Well, someone's not happy. My tree. That that was a very selfish thing that we just witnessed. That was pretty much, that's my tree. I want it and I'm going to eat it. You go away. Alrighty then. <laughs> that's so pretty much, you see that there wasn't much more aggression other than what we just witnessed and the trumpeting that went to another level but either the the female is trying to give the little one a chance to feed on this little one or she actually just wants to feed off of it and then this other one that's been peacefully sleeping is uh, not sleeping sorry eating and has just been chased away <laughs> luckily there's a lot more food around so it's not that much of a of a tragedy but i think that was a little bit rude <laughs> i definitely did not expect that one Interesting. Are you upset now? I think maybe it's the the law of the elephants. The bigger ones will always bully the little ones. Like we saw this one pushing the tiny one away and then mother coming in and just sorting it out in between all of them. There's a little elephant bum over there. I 
Yes, Nazi, you're wondering if that was playing or bullying. Well, I don't think it was either. I think it was just mom telling off. So, definitely not playing just by their reaction and how high pitched that was. Normally, when elephants are playing around, they don't make such high pitch um, trumpet calls. But also, this other one just went into the side, and you could see that for a second there, all of their heads were raised and their ears were up, and there was a little bit of tension there. So, definitely not playing around. I reckon the behavior would have been a little bit different. Perhaps she would have come around and pushed it a little bit but not making as much noise as, as it did because the minute it came around and made that noise and you see the one to the right it's still standing there. It's just been standing there but is oh, there we go retreating. And I think now it's starting to show its discontent isn't like oh, unacceptable. I wonder if it's gonna try and go back. It seems like now it's got its naughty phase going in and it's trying to get and eat those branches that were there. Taking it very easy and very quietly. And after all its effort trying to get to it, then <laughs> the mother and the youngster have just come in and pretty much taken over. And you see it's not really feeding, it's just playing with some grass. I think it's still hoping and now hmm, probably smelling us because looking at the fact that the trunk is pointing in our direction. While well, everybody carries on eating. Hmm. Multiple sons, they're wondering if I would be able to go and touch that elephant. I could try, but likely I would die in the process. Now they are very used to having people driving around and they're very used to us and the noises that we make from, from a car, from a vehicle, one of the safari vehicles. However, on foot is a very different, very different thing. Now on foot you, especially elephants or just in general mothers with younger ones, they are very protective of the little ones and they will not doubt to protect them and be very fierce about it. So no, I would definitely, even if I managed to surprise them and come running from the back and touch them, likely they would either in the best case scenario, they would just get spooked and run away from me. But very likely what would happen is that they would turn around and start chasing me. Now you can imagine when something that weighs about three and a half tons is chasing you is not the, the ideal thing because they can easily squash you. So no, I wouldn't, and even if I could, I don't record I would try to go and touch them. Now we've got another younger bull here. He's walking with a typical bull swagger. Beautiful. Seems just like the elephants, the dugs have also gone on the move. So let's go over to Tristan and find out where the wild dogs are going to go. <laughs> 